Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Coleman Lantern 300 TQ Toy Hauler. The thing I like about this toy hauler is it does have a separated space. You have the garage portion in the back with your home portion up front and it does have a slide out up there as well, which really helps to open up that main living space and kind of give you a separated feel. So let's talk about the garage because chances are if you're buying a toy hauler that's probably the most important part to you. So a couple of quick measurements here. You have a 10 foot garage as far as the length. For width, you're about seven and a half foot. Just bear in mind that you know, you're gonna lose probably a little over a foot when you roll the sofas up to the side. So you're probably working with somewhere right around six and a half foot. With the sofas down, obviously it gives you some additional seating. Both of these are jackknifes. They drop down into additional sleeping areas. The table, of course, right here in the center. Uh, another thing, another dimension, I guess, is the ceiling height. So you're right about 81 inches for height. So again, just kind of plan accordingly based upon what you plan to put in here. And as you can see, you have D-rings all over the floor. Uh, you have essentially three rows, and then you will have two sets here in the center. And then if you take a look at the outside, uh, you will see that right there in the back, you have a little beaver tail there kind of dropping down, uh, you know, so when the ramp comes down, it's nice, easy entrance. So you have six D-rings here in total. Uh, windows on both sides. You also see your dual USB port right there. Plenty of electrical outlets back here as well. You'll see one I have right down here. There's also one behind each of the sofa. So if you do have people staying the night uh, in the back, they have a spot to plug in cell phones, things like that. Storage right up top. So you do have a little bit of storage back here. Two exhaust ports, one up in this corner, the other one in the opposite corner. TV hookups located on the ceiling. So if you want TV, that will be the place to hook it up at. When we make our way up front, you can see that this is a pass-through bathroom. So we'll start right on this side. Foot flush lover toilet. I'll take a seat here just to kind of show you the space. So I'm six foot. Uh, because it's a curtain and not a door, I have plenty of room on this side. Obviously, plenty of shoulder space there. My toes too, do touch this, the, the wall if I put them out, but realistically, plenty of leg room, not an issue. Over to this side is the shower. Uh, as far as shower height, so again, I'm six foot. As you can see, I just clear the ceiling. So if you're any taller, if you're six one, six two, you probably will have to bend down a little bit to use the shower. Otherwise, it'll work just fine for you. Across the way, on the other side, you have this big linen closet, which I love. So you have a spot for your towels, all your other bathroom accessories, two drawers right underneath, more storage as well as plumbing access underneath the sink top and vanity. Naturally, you have an electrical outlet there. And right up top is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage in that as well. Then we make our way up into the main living area. Right here is your thermostat. So this thermostat does control your ducted AC as well as your ducted furnace. Furnace, of course, runs through the floor. AC runs through the ceiling. Right around the corner, if we swing around, you'll see this additional storage area. Just kind of want to open it up to give you an idea of depth. A lot of times, you know, they're only about this deep. This one's a little bit deeper. So in my opinion, that is actually a really good storage area. You can use it for pantry. You can use it for additional dishes really whatever else you need to put in there. And you will also see the cubby hole right underneath, which may be a good spot for some shoes. And then as I mentioned, this one has the slide out U-shaped dinette. And I love this. It's really what makes this living area, in my opinion, very usable because it gives you a spot where everyone can sit down, you can play a game together, have a meal together. And if you have additional guests staying the night, not only do you have the beds in the back, but this U dinette drops down into a bed that's large enough for two adults to sleep on as well. Of course, a window there for natural light during the day, LED lights at night. You also have the easy access storage. You can swing that open. So that way if you need to get at anything, uh, you store underneath the dinette, you know, maybe some extra beddings, things like that. It is easy access. Right here is the uh, main TV entertainment center. So flip that on, you can see the little accent lighting behind there. There's a backer right there so you know where to mount the TV at. Of course, electrical outlet as well as your uh, cable inlet there with your signal booster. You will also see these guys. These are hooked up to that multimedia center because this is a DVD player. Uh, I know, you know, it should be an HDMI cable, but uh, there's a couple manufacturers that have gone there. Not all of them have switched over. So currently we still have these three, but 
most TVs I've seen are still capable of using these and realistically, uh, you know, a DVD isn't going to be running HD quality. It's not a Blu-ray player, so it, it works for the application. Right over to this side, additional storage there. You see more storage underneath. Propane leak detector as well as your fuse box and your breaker panel will be located underneath. And then you get into the kitchen. So you will see that they have seamless countertops, which I love because that means you don't have tea mold or anything popping off at the corner. It's a much cleaner look. It also allows you to undermount the sink, which again, gives you that clean look. You'll see the uh, double basin, larger on the left, smaller on the right, which is the optimal setup for washing and rinsing dishes. High rise faucet there makes life a lot easier. Decorative backsplash, this is actually a panel. Uh, which I like, you know, a lot of times they will just uh, put like a, a sticker up there, but this one you can see is an actual panel, so it's a little bit easier to clean off. You will also see an electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in. You have the three burner recessed cooktop with a glass cover. This folds up and back. This obviously also doubles as a backsplash. The knobs light up if you want an extra courtesy light at night or just, you know, the added effect. And that also controls your light inside the oven. Right down underneath, take a look under the sink. You'll see they did give you a large enough spot for a trash can, which again, I also enjoy because I hate having my trash can just hang out on a knob out in my kitchen. Storage up top, microwave to the side, also your hood with both the light and fan, and then the Norcold fridge freezer combo is right next door to that. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. As we step up front, you will see the RV Queen right there in the center. On both sides are your nightstands. You'll see that you have drawers too, so you have a little, you know, spot for your items at night. Uh, you will see your electrical outlets as well as dual USB ports on both sides and plenty of space if you need a CPAP machine. Right above that, you have your two mirrored wardrobes. You'll see the hanging rod shelf connecting the two right in between. Right up top here is your uh, vent. This one also is pre-wired for a uh, second AC. You can see that here. So if you want a second AC, you know, it's an option you need to get from the manufacturer. That way it has 50 amp service, everything else, but it is capable of handling that. You have another mount, it's, uh, same backer actually. They use it for both sides of the TV, but if you want a bedroom TV, that's where it'll mount to. The connections for it are over a way. So you'll probably want uh, you know, some kind of connection system or something to connect the wires to the ceiling, but they are over there. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Coleman Lantern 300TQ. Right up front is the power tongue jack. This, of course, makes it much easier to hook up and disconnect to your tow vehicle because all you have to do is flip this little switch here and it will raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light up front for added visibility at night. Right behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover to hide those tanks. Behind that you will see rails for your battery. Notice that you have a setup for two batteries because you know they expect you to take a toy hauler out and about. You also get the additional cargo rack space there too. Coming up the front is diamond Dutch plating helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And when we swing around to the side, you will see solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it will trickle charge your battery. Let's talk about the front storage compartment. You will see it is magnetic, so you can put it up just like that. You don't have to worry about any plastic clips or tabs breaking off. When we take a look inside that pass-through, you will see it is very large. That is a big thing, folks. A lot of times you get smaller doors. Not the case here. It is a big door, so you're able to fit some grills, some of your larger chairs and things in there. You will notice the power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in with the LED light strip underneath. Two entrances and exits into this camper. This first one right here into the main living area, this is your primary entrance. The secondary one goes into the garage space. You'll notice because this is your primary, they have the upgraded LCI solid step on here, and it is exactly that. It is a very solid step. I'm over 200 pounds. You can see I can bounce up and down on this. The steps hardly move. Also, it has aluminum tread, which isn't going to rust and you have some grip tape, so if it is wet, it gives you some additional traction. The feet are adjustable, so that way you can adjust those to the campsite as well. You have a smaller grab handle here, nothing you know, too noticeable or stand out, but uh, it is nice if you are you know, walking up, you can grab that just for some additional control. 
Right down here is a power stabilizer jack. So you have one control for the front two, you'll have one in the back for the rear two. Bear in mind, folks, that is not an auto level. Please do not try to use those to level out your coach. You will uh, break them. They are just made to stabilize. So that way, once your coach is leveled using blocks, you put those down and that will pre help prevent your coach from rocking a whole bunch when you're walking around inside. You'll see electrical outlets right here outside the door. Fresh water inlet right behind that. That is for your fresh tank fill. If you jump back up top, you will see your two outside speakers. So if you want to rock out, play some music, you can do that. Those, of course, are right underneath your awning. So if you want to sit out here, you know, you have the, the music playing right over you. You'll notice the uh, outside shower with both hot and cold water access. This is very convenient to have on the door side. Most of the time, it's either on the off door side or on the back of the camper. But here, you know, if you need to wash off your feet coming in from the beach or something, you can do that quite easily. Right behind that is a black tank flush. So that way, uh, rather than having to stick a hose down the toilet to wash out your black tank, you hook it up right there. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. As I mentioned previously, this is the secondary entrance. So you just have the standard three fold out steps with the grab handle there. And this is the second control for your power stabilizer jacks. That one controls the rear two. In the very back is our ramp door. Very simple and easy to operate, folks. Just like so, swing it out. You'll do the same thing on the other side. The ramp will drop down. You see you have grab handles here on both sides, as well as helper springs to assist that door coming down, as well as pushing it back up. When you're done, you just push these over, push it right up into place. Both of these have a lock. So that way, if you're traveling, you need to pull over on the side of the road, you can lock those up. You'll also notice right up top in the center is backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. Cable inlet right back here on the off door side. And last but not least, right up front, you have your city water inlet on this side, 50 amp detachable power cord plugs in here. If we drop down, you will see your terminations. You will have one, right in front of the axle, your secondary, your gray tank will be right behind the axle. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Coleman Lantern 300 TQ. If you're interested in this toy hauler and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.